Hi folks, so once you get free Wi-Fi tethering and uh, maybe you're just paranoid or something because it's your Verizon, uh, your Droid Bionic is capped at 2 gigabytes anyways you can't, you know, use it to tether and download a whole bunch of stuff anyways um, but if you're paranoid and you don't want them to find out you can use this program called Radiocom uh, go download it, install it, it'll try to install these drivers don't worry about it, um, just put, go to your phone connect it to your computer and make sure it's in PC mode right and then uh, if you root it you need a rooted phone of course um, and if you already have Wi-Fi tether uh, using my method or my video tutorial um, then you should be fine and what you want to do is uh, install the drivers and then run Radiocom okay so I'm gonna run Radiocom on my computer here and it's going to always ask you this, just to say cancel. And just close. It's always it's trying to install it. I don't know why, but. Uh, and when, when radio com will show up, it doesn't really matter so long as your, um, your uh, radio com recognizes your phone. And uh, it takes a little bit, so starting up. And here it started. Uh, when you first start it up, it's going to ask you for a mode. Just select CDMA 1X MSM 7500 with Android. Uh, mine already did it. And then what you want to do is go down, go down to uh, click on this thing arrow until you get you see P2K1. Click on that uh, tab, and then you'll see uh, STELEM and RDELEM. Um, here you're going to uh, change that to DEC entries. This is important, do that, don't do it wrong. And type uh, 8040 here, and also record number is 1, and the length is 128, and hit RDLEM. And uh, if you get a red screen, that means your driver's not installed correctly. That happens, um, I don't know why I installed drivers before and it was working fine. You can go to your computer. And for some reason, it's not showing up here. I might have connected my phone to the wrong one. No, I didn't. Let me try that again. I'm going to pull it out and put it back in. And make sure it's in PC mode. All right. And it should show up here somewhere. Um, Let me try that again. Already. Oh, there we go. Now I got it, right? So if, if that happens, just unplug it and plug it back in. And then you'll get this number here, right? Go here and select all, copy it, and then copy it to a notepad nearby. So I'm just going to copy it here. And then what you're going to do is go back here and then A041 and then hit RDLEM. And it'll give you a different number, but I already did it. That's why it gives you the same number. And you're going to go back to the notepad and copy that number. And then um, delete the previous ones. Uh, insert the new one, right? And then and then hit STELEM. This will basically uh, write the element, the data that was in A040 to A041. You're going to do the same thing with A042. Type A042, hit R D E R E M, and then erase all this, and then copy over the, the one from the notepad. All right, and then I'm going to hit S T E L E M to write to it. I already did it, that's why it's the same. And then go to also A043, hit R D L E M, um, erase this, copy over from the notebook and hit STELEM and I think that's it uh, yeah you don't have to mess with A044 if you've done that basically it uh, fools Verizon into thinking that you're authenticated or that's what people are saying so if you're paranoid about it and uh, you can do this too um, so that's how you you know this is supposed to give you free tethering on the Droid 3 but which doesn't work on the Droid Bionic but you can use uh, the video I posted earlier to get free tethering and also use this just in case um, to 
you know, hide your tracks, you know, hide your kids, and you know, and then that's it, and you should be all good to go. Anyway, that's how you use uh, RadioCom to, um, I think this works, you know, to hide yourself, hide your wives. See y'all later. Subscribe. Retethering. Droid Bionic rules.